As murder rates in major cities keep climbing, Fort Worth's police chief today said that he believes intelligence-led, data-driven approach is the right way to combat it. Chief Neil Noakes spoke to our Jason Allen. He says it's all hands on deck right now to stop violent crime. Halfway through 2021, a city that's growing has a murder rate that's growing. Fort Worth has had 61 homicides so far this year, more than 25% ahead of last year, and more than the city had total just three years ago. Anytime a single life is lost, it's a problem. So absolutely, it's a problem. Police Chief Neil Noakes, who took over in January, is not sending a wave of officers, though, into neighborhoods. Instead, it's intelligence and data. Hot spots are highlighted and then further narrowed to identify drug houses and game rooms. Using cameras installed across the city and license plate scanners, investigators are focusing on known offenders first. We're not out there trying to just make any arrest we can. We're, we're focusing on the, the violent crime problem itself. So the people we've been arresting are the people who are actually contributing to the problem. Part of that approach is also Noakes' recognition of the still sometimes fragile relationship here between people and police. And it's why saturating neighborhoods with officers and going after any and all levels of crime is not necessarily the focus. This is every single interaction they have with a citizen is a chance to change that narrative. Every chance you have to have a positive engagement, a positive interaction with a citizen, you're helping change the negative narrative that's out there nationwide. The department has highlighted successes, confiscating more than 60 weapons, making more than 100 arrests. And Noakes told me he expects the department to increase its use of intelligence to fight crime into next year. It's really helped us focus in on specifically the people we need to be dealing with, the ones that are contributing to this violent crime. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.